Get it up, everybody. Let's try to get up. Come on, rise, rise. Come on, get up. Come on, get up. We try to loosen up a bit, okay, amigo? Come on, come on. Seven women on my mind The world that wanna hold me to The one that's told me once And she's a friend of mine Take it easy Take it easy Don't let the sound of your I choose this opening especially to honor the great Ren Frey of the Eagles who passed away last January at the age of 67, who was diagnosed as I with rheumatic arthritis. 67, it's far too young, and by that, 2016 is a bad year for music. Um, as a design thinker, I'm in a constant flow of distributing knowledge. And since everything I do remains virtually, I am in this urgent necessity to practice the art of motorcycle maintenance. Whew. And let me tell you that motorcycle maintenance is as much art as it is science. And how growth phases in life are marked with crisis moments. As a mechanic, I separate myself from others. I have this strange passion of taking things apart that work actually pretty well. That's a huge difference with other mechanics, because why should you take something apart that actually works? I already had it as a kid. I was taking apart mopeds, bicycles, little radiators. The only difference with back then is that today I'm actually able to put them back together again. I was a tedious young researcher at that time. It drove my parents nuts. It was during that time, that phase in my life, that I discovered that taking apart stuff, things that actually worked, was extremely interesting. Far more interesting than taking apart something that's already broke. Because how do you research broken things? How can you backtrack that, what actually caused the, the problem, the defect, by using statistics? Or by guessing? I don't know, I can answer that. I want you all to look at this beautiful thing here. This is my Lucille. Lucille is a 61 Harley Davidson Duo Glide. Uh, also referred to as a pan head, since the ancient heads are marked and designed as cooking pans. Um, to set your mind back, um, and I don't want to insult anybody here in the audience, but 55 years is quite old. Um, 1961 was the year that John F. Kennedy became president of the United States, and Berlin started to build the Berlin Wall. So like, that's pretty old. And my penhead was built in that same year. It was originally designed in 48, but Harley still used that same technique. Um, it was built as a police bike, built by one engineer in a special factory, and their engines were known to be pretty fast for that time. Mr. Termeule, the previous owner, bought Lucille, stored her for 45 years, and it was unless 2011 when he got her out of his garage and was preparing her for the uh, yearly super rally which was held in Lufania that same year. Unfortunately, Mr. Temeule became very ill that same year, and he passed away. And Lucille was never able to make it to that rally. I was able to buy Lucille for a very reasonable price. And the widow asked me to take good care of the machine, to maintain it, to love it, to keep it, to cherish it. And there was one more special condition. She asked me to take that ride to a super rally in the near future to honor her late husband. 
Let's focus on growth phases for a minute. Let's get something a bit more serious. I think that every growth phase in life is marked by a moment of crisis. Dictionaries define the word crisis as turning point. Crisis means turning point, and that's pretty interesting. And it, sounds, it may sound very scary to you guys, and maybe people panic when they hear the word crisis. Um, and sure, it's, it's panicking sometimes, because organizations do need to change directions once they reached a crisis. This change in direction, we call it a transition. But look at your own personal life, and we have seen some examples, and we will see more examples of those today at this event. Look at your life. Look at the personal crises you have been through. I bet you came out stronger, better, wiser, and again, much stronger. Like Frey, the singer, of the Eagles, I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. And I can tell you, as a biker, as a mechanic, that won't make things easier. But yet, it made me a better mechanic. I made a personal transition. As I told you before, this machine was built in 48. It was built and designed to take people from A to B not as a luxury commodity. The owner could trust it as long as the same owner maintained it. So what did I do? The first moment I took her home, I put her in my living room, and my wife is somewhere in here, as you can agree, and I tried, I tried to, to take her apart. I took her completely apart because I wanted to know why she worked so well. I blueprinted the engine. I checked everything, measured everything up. And with that knowledge, I was even able to make some minor adjustments to that old design. I even found some minor parts that were worn out that could easily lead to a big crisis, an unwanted crisis in the near future. Last week, I did what I promised the widow. Me, and Lucille went on a trip to Alcani, Spain. We did almost 2,000 miles together. We crossed the Pyrenees Mountains. We went through hills, snow, <laughs> everything you can imagine. And she ran beautifully. She didn't take any oil. I was checking the engine while listening to it. I was like Frey sang in that beautiful song. I was on the road losing my load and take it very easy. Today, my friends, and I may call you my friends, it's a special day. We are here more or less to celebrate our future health. We should ask ourselves the question, what it is that makes us grow? What it is that keeps us healthy? So that in an unwanted crisis, we can reproduce that state of mind and become better and become stronger. Shouldn't we research the fact why somebody is healthy more than the reason why somebody is sick? I would like to ask and end my speech with the following. Create your own unwanted crisis. Learn, adapt, become better, and become healthier. Thank you so much.